Sometimes I long for those rose-coloured days with the 80s and 90s where games were designed to beat your sorry ass, and where the graphics weren't the best thing in the world, but actually gameplay and thoughtfulness and creativity and all that flourished. I'm not saying that doesn't happen today, but um, you just can't beat the classics, let's face it. So I was overjoyed when um, I discovered a new app on the um, the Apple App Store and we'll just pop into there now and as you can see it's called IDOS now it costs uh, 69p and it is basically a version of DOS um, uh, well the, the Apple police basically they're uh, that the whole you know you cannot do this you cannot do that basically they just don't want you another way of installing software onto a device um though this is an emulator so it doesn't really fall into that category um but yeah so anyway idos is now available grab it while you can because you never know when these things might get pulled down there have been a couple of attempts before um and, uh, and the apple store managers just pulled it down so uh, quickly go out and grab it if you're interested in this um i will show you what you can do with it very briefly and then i'll show show you how to get games onto it. Now first of all, ooh, that's loud. So first of all, um, you have their visit the store. Now they've got some games there that you can just download, you've just got to tap them and as you can see I've already installed a few of them. Um, you've also got, well this is just the IDOS store. So if we go back there's also a command prompt. So if you tap on the um, the C, what's we call it here, this will bring you to the command prompt. Now it's got two ways of being. You can either go long ways, so you can have an overlay keyboard. So if you want full screen apps, you can get full screen apps. Um, just pull that down again and get rid of that. And we've also got mouse movement. Um, we've got uh, gamepad overlay and you've got joystick overlay. Now I prefer using this one because it's like using a mini computer to be honest. Um, also the keyboard's always there and you also have um, um, you know, uh, a gamepad here. You have to slide this down to get rid of it and then a, um, a joystick here and again you have to slide that down to, uh, to get rid of it. But you also have this full keyboard here with arrow keys and all that kind of stuff. And this takes me back to my DOS days. So if we type in uh, DIR which lists the directories and then go into um, games. So all I'm doing now is tapping on my screen and... I'm going to have a look at Wing Commander first. Oh no, I need to go to uh, CDWC1. I also have Wing Commander 2. Oh, have I typed that in wrong? So just going to DIR. Oh, it's WC. Oh, okay. <laughs> so CDWC. Um, now I'm getting these games from good old games, that's GOG.com, so they are legal versions, which I'm very hot on. Um, I like to play whoever owns the rights to it, because I love these games. And I have to admit, I've bought them a few times throughout my life. <laughs> um, but I don't mind, because um, they're quite cheap on GOG, we're talking a few dollars. And there we go, we got the sound. And we have the animation, and again, if you want to, you can turn it round and you get it full screen. And that to me is just cool. <laughs> There's no other word for it, it's just cool. Whoops. So you got all the explosions and effects and all that kind of stuff. Now again, if you rotate it, you know, you can just do this and no problem. Just swaps between two modes without any problems whatsoever. I'm just going to turn the volume down. There we go. And so you've got CPU cycles, which basically um, indicates how many, well, cycles um, the game has. Uh, going for it. a higher number of cycles, uh, faster than the, the basic emulation is, um, but basically keep the, the minimum there. Um, you've also got a command history there, and we can do an escape. And if we go to um, uh, continue mission or campaign, um, and I'm just going to pop over to the door here. Uh, so you've got mouse control as well, so I'm just touching the screen and dragging it around, and you've got left and right buttons there. 
Uh, yes, I do. And that will basically take you back. Now, the other game um, I, I've wanted to play, I've never actually played it, but it's a cult classic. Um, now, the keys are a little bit small to type on. Once you, well, As long as you pay attention to what you're doing, they're no problem. Um, the other game is Zork. Now, I got the Zork Anthology from Good Old Games, five ninety nine, and you get six Zork games, including the original, the second, and the third, and then the sequels to those as well. They've also got a couple of other Zork games there. They don't have the entire um, series of them, which is unfortunate, but uh, you know I haven't even played the first one yet. So, um, if I do a DIR, um, we're going to Anth for Anthology. Now, remember, this is DOS, so you've only got eight characters in the name which you'll probably see here, you've got all these squeezy lines and things. Um, but if I just go into Zork, and Zork, oh, oh no, it's underscore Zork1. And as I say, these are all the games that have come from DOSBox. And as you can see, we now have the classic text adventure, um, Zork. So, and, you know, it's, it's a full DOS operating system. Now, there are some people who have even reported the ability to run Windows 3.1 on this. I haven't tested it yet because I don't have any floppy disks around here. But I might jump on eBay later and see if I can find a set. Um, but that would be quite cool if you can get uh, Windows installed. Whether or not you get Windows... I, I very much doubt you get Windows 98. I've tried that on normal one on a desktop. and So on normal DOS box on a desktop, and I haven't had a lot of success with it. Um... Though I have had some success, but again, on an ARM device. Uh, maybe the iPad 4 might be able to handle it, but this is the first generation iPad mini, so it's really no better than iPad 2. But anyway, that, that is um, a full DOS simulator. Now, what is a little bit confusing, and what threw me, was the ability to get games on here. Now, as you can see, I've worked it out and I've managed it. I'm now going to show you how to do that. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is grab a piece of software... And so you want to go to www.microplant.com and you want to find Explorer 2. Now they do have a new version, Explorer 3. They charge for that. Might as well just download Explorer 2. Works absolutely fine. Once you've installed it, plug your iPad in and then launch it from your app screen. There is also a Windows version. I'm just using Mac because, well, I'm using a Mac basically. Um, so don't check. Now you've got Daniel's iPad there. All you do is you expand it out. Let me just get rid of that. We just expand it out. We go into apps. We go into iDOS. And I think it was documents, was it? Yeah. If you go into documents, you've then got all the games. Um, Wing Commander, Wing Commander 2, Zork. You've also got 3D Realms with um, Duke. These are the games that, that uh, you can install from their store. So they all went under 3D Realms. But then we have um, the Wing Commander games. So these are the games that I bought off the uh, the good old game store. Um, and as you can see, I also have them on my desktop here. So I've obviously extracted them at some point and I've just dragged it all in. And all you basically do is right click, new folder create the folder name, try to keep it under eight characters, and then just drag it into wherever you want, and it'll just copy across, and it really is that easy. Now, to get the game data out of um, GOG, um, I didn't have any Win uh, Mac installers for um, Zork or Wing Commander. So what I'm basically using is Parallels Desktop. So, And as you can see, I'm on good old games here. And I've downloaded them, and all I did was install them. And once you install them, which is just a standard process, you then go to GOG Games on the C drive. As you can see, we've got um, the Zork Anthology, and we have uh, Wing Commander 2. Now, you don't need all this stuff. All you need are these two folders here for Wing Commander. So all I did was um, take these folders and drag them onto my desktop then I drag them into iExplorer again there is um, a what's we call it version um, sorry just went out the window there, uh, there, there, there is a um, what was I going to say what's we call it version no <laughs> uh, anyway um, 
yeah, you, there there is a Windows version for iX for iExplorer as well. So you know you can do all this within Windows as well. I haven't tried it myself, so I'm assuming it's working. <laughs> if it doesn't, then grab a Mac and you can do it that way. Um, but yeah, I mean it really is that simple. And once it, once everything has been copied over, you again the, the, you then get the um, full game um, directory structure with all the files. Game dat is is completely writable. Uh, and that's basically it then. Um, and as far as I'm aware, you only get about 250 meg on this. I'm not sure. I haven't tried to exceed it yet. Um, but I assume there will be some kind of limitation. So uh, so try to um, to keep your games as small and numerous as possible. I'm also going to try and install... I've got some discs here for X-Wing. I've got some Star Trek games. I've got all sorts of DOS games here from my misspent childhood. And uh, if I just go back here... Uh, and and the rest is all just a matter of knowing the DOS commands, really. Um, and you can find those just, you know, type in DOS commands into Google and you'll find all that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it really is that simple to um, to get DOS games running on your iPad. I recommend you go out and grab the software before Apple realizes that you can sideload applications on in this method. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, and, and hopefully this this will be the one that sticks in the Apple Store and everyone can use it. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go away and I'm going to relive my childhood. So thank you for watching.